Hey everybody, Scott Wilkinson here at Cedia Expo 2013. I'm in the Definitive Technology booth talking with Mike Dyer about their new products at the show. Mike, what are you showing here? Scott, we've got a number of new products at uh, Cedia 2013. Most importantly is our new flagship replacement. Our Mythos Tower has been our top selling high-end speaker for about six or seven years now. And at this show, we're introducing a brand new version where every single component is brand new from the tweeter to the subwoofer, everything in between, all brand new, with an incredible new level of performance we've never seen before. Now, they don't look that different. No, you caught me. The one the, the one component that didn't change is our extruded is aluminum cosmetics. cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, the, we're using the same aircraft grade aluminum uh, cabinet, but everything inside the box that you can't see yeah. is all new. Great, so uh, what, like for example? This is, uh, Definitive has always been known for our aluminum dome silk surround tweeters. Uh, we firmly believe that aluminum dome tweeters are the way to go. This is the first time ever we've not used a pure aluminum dome. We've gone to a magnesium aluminum alloy, which gives us better characteristics of speed, resonance management, to, and, uh, and the, the, the functions that give us the air and speed without the edginess. Moving down through the frequency range, all new mid-bass drivers using um, uh, aluminum uh, billet uh, linear waveguides. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's uh, a mouthful right there. Yes, it is. Um, we've applied for four additional patents in this design. We'll see. We're assuming they'll be granted. Mm -hmm. um, down in the base section, new active drivers, new pressure-driven passive base radiators. New amplifier for the subwoofer. We've quadrupled the power output from 300 to 1200 watts. Uh, and most importantly, well, not most importantly, but in addition to, they now have an IR remote control so that you can individually adjust the base levels to match your room and listening taste. Fantastic. So what are we talking about price-wise here? $24.99 each. Each, okay. 5,000 so a pair. 5,000 a yep. pair. And delivery, when do we expect them? We're looking fourth quarter. Of, of 13. Uh, okay, of this year? <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. All right, I understand you have a new uh, sound bar as well? Yes, we're introducing the uh, Solo Cinema uh, uh, sound bar, which is a lesser expensive version of our Solo Cinema XTR. Which you we're, introduced last year. Yes, the, uh, the Solo Cinema XTR is, a, is our 1999 product. This comes in at 1199 so it's a significantly less expensive product that hits a different price point. We're maintaining probably 80 to 90 percent of the performance uh, with, with you know, 60 percent of the cost. So it's a great value, brings all of the same uh, feature set, three HDMI in, one HDMI out, uh, legacy analog ins, uh, some, some very unique uh, features on the remote control. We have a button for music that creates a sound stage that's wide and tall to emulate a pair of uh, tower speakers. Mm -hmm. We have a, a movie button that creates a sense of envelopment, more like a 5.1 system. So, so you, do, you do do a, a simulated surround from this? Yes, we have some, some very specific passive and active uh, circuitry that, uh, that creates a, an envelopment that we really think is the best on the market. And when do you expect that one to be available? Again, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, no, okay. No vaporware this year. Good, 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 good. And finally, uh, I understand you have a really special pair of um, computer speakers or desktop speakers. Yes, that would be the Incline, our first foray into computer speakers. These are self-powered bipolar mini towers. Uh, very, very attractive. It has some of the best industrial design that we've shown so far. It's a master-slave system where the, the USB cable comes into the master. We have a very high performance DAC built into the system. It then slaves over to the secondary system. Incredible bass response, very airy because it is a bipolar design. It radiates from the back and the front. So the sense of space and airiness. We've added DSP processing. So when you are in a near field uh, uh, placement, you get a great sense of width and height like you would expect from a, a high quality pair of audiophile loudspeakers. Now when you when you say bipolar, if, if you put it on a desk and it's up against a wall, that might cause a problem, mightn't it? No, actually they, they, they're designed, and that's really, the, the key of a bipolar speaker is the front drive, set, drive array gives you the sense of imaging and precision. The back set of drivers gives you the sense of space and size. Mm. So if basically, if you're near a boundary, uh, it will change that sense of size versus out in the uh, open. But uh, it's, a, it's a tunable type of uh, thing, mm -hmm. and they're very forgiving. You can place them anywhere. 
Uh, again, fourth quarter? Fourth quarter. <laughs> and what are the price points? Those are going to be $3.99 for the set. Fantastic. Thanks so much for talking with us. My pleasure. Thanks for coming.